In this video from Device Doctor, I will show you how to connect your Epson L6270 printer to your mobile phone using Wi-Fi Direct. I will explain everything step by step so it's easy to follow and you can print wirelessly without any trouble. Let's get started. If you're having trouble with your printer, you can fix it for free on your own. If you have any technical questions or aren't sure which printer to buy, just ask us for expert advice and free support. First, start by turning on the printer and make sure it's powered up properly. Next, check the paper tray. If it's empty, load some paper into it. Ensure the paper is aligned correctly to avoid any issues while printing. Once you've done that, give the printer a moment to initialize and get ready for use. Since this printer doesn't have a touch screen, we will need to use its physical buttons. Go to the Settings option on the printer and then navigate to General Settings. Now open the third option, Network Settings. Next, click on the Wi-Fi Setup option and then select Wi-Fi Direct. Now, Wi-Fi Direct is turned on. Look at the corner of the screen where I've marked and you'll find the printer's Wi-Fi password. Click on the Change Password option to view the password. In this section, you can also change the Wi-Fi name if needed. Here, you can see that my password is set from 1 to 8. I won't change it, so I will just click on the OK button. Now, we'll use the Epson iPrint app, which offers many features for the user, to connect the printer to your phone. Of course, you can also print directly from your gallery without any issues. After opening the app, agree to the permissions and make sure to turn on your location. Then go to your phone's Wi-Fi settings, tap on the printer's name, and enter the printer's Wi-Fi password. It's a very simple process. My password was from 1 to 8, but yours might be different. Now, you should see the printer in the app. Tap on it and then select the second option, Keep using Epson iPrint. Now that the printer is connected, let's do a test print from the mobile to make sure everything is working smoothly. I hope this video has been useful for you and you now feel confident using your printer wirelessly. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to support us by subscribing to the Device Doctor channel for more useful tips and tutorials. Thank you for watching.